Welcome to Talk Straight Bible. I'm your host, Jeremiah. And I'm Rafina Antonetti. And we're just here to share the Word of God with you this morning. We, we had a theme in mind, so I asked my wife, would you come on and help me with this? And uh, she agreed, and here she is. I'm here. Amen. She's in the flesh here, but we're going to talk about I'm things here. in the Spirit, right? <laughs> yes. He's in the flesh here, but we're going to talk about things in the Spirit. Well, the title today is Be Obedient. Be you Obedient. Know? And you know one of the things about obedient? is that it has the word die in it. If you don't die to self, you'll never be able to be obedient to God. But I'll tell you what, let's just dive in. And I know that you have a verse of scripture there that you want to share. I do. And before we do that, what does obedient mean? Complying or willing to comply with orders or requests, being submissive to another's will. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Say That's that again. what obedience means. Complying or willing to comply with orders or requests, submissive to another's will wow so we're going to open up with deuteronomy 5 33 today i'm gonna start at 32. therefore you are to be careful to do as adonai your god has ordered you wow you are not to deviate either to the right or the left you are to follow the entire way wow. which Adonai your God has ordered you so that you will live, things will go well with you, and you will live long in the land you are about to possess. Wow. So here we see three promises that God gives us for being obedient and following his word. One, that you will live. Mm. Two, that things will go well with you. Mm. And three, that you will live long in the land you are about to possess. Three promises. Three promises. Can't and he that. says that to the children too, right? Yeah. Children, obey your parents in the Lord so that it may go well with you, so that you may have long life. Wow. You know, the word observed there, if I may just cut in for a second, is that it's the word Shema. We've been talking about Shema, the word keep to protect mm. as a shepherd protects the sheep. Wow. You know, the Bible tells us that God took uh, Adam and created him and put him in the garden to keep it, to shamar mm -hmm. it, you mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. And actually the word shamar also was used uh, later on because this is where God introduces it, to keep the word of God, to keep the Torah. Wow. This is what it's all about. God told the people of Israel, keep Shema, my word, hold it. Protect it. Put a barrier around it and don't let anything get inside. Mm, that's beautiful. I'm telling you, I, the, um, a scripture that, that, that the Lord um, impressed on my heart this morning was um, also from um, Sam, uh, 1 Samuel. Because we know that when you, we're obedient, he gives us these promises, and they're beautiful promises, right? But let's see what happens when we're disobedient uh -oh. Uh -oh. to the word of God. <laughs> disobedient to the word of God. Now this was this was a man that was chosen by God to um to rule over his people. But Samuel comes to him and tells him this in 22. And then we'll go back a little bit about the story of what 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 took place there. Does Adonai take as much pleasure in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obeying what Adonai says? Wow. Surely obeying is better than sacrifice and heeding orders than the fat of rams. Wow. Now here is uh, the prophet telling the king that, asking him, does God... Um, take more pleasure in burnt offerings because this king has now made a sacrifice which is not in his office to do, was not in his office to do. And on top of that, he was totally rebellious because the next verse says, for rebellion is like the sin of sorcery, stubbornness like Oosh. the crime of adult idolatry because you have rejected the word of Adonai, wow. he too has rejected you as king. Wow. 
he was he was he was instructed by the Lord through Samuel to go into the Amalekites Amalekites um 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 land and destroy everything father mother children everything. rams everything sorry I'm, I'm I'm I got excited I got excited um and destroy everything and he did not do that what he did was that he killed he killed a lot but he brought stuff back mm. okay now you're bringing stuff back and so and then he's then he says I brought it back for the people Okay, wow. so he thought that what he was doing was a good thing, but that's not what God told him to do. He said, destroy everything. And sometimes that's what we do, right? Yeah. Sometimes we, we're, we're instructed to do something. I am so guilty of that. <laughs> sometimes we're instructed to do something, and then we see something that looks like a better way. Mm, mm, mm. And we go, yeah, but this is a good thing. If I do it this way, this, but that's not what you were asked to do. I am so guilty of that. I we do all that. Are. We all I, are. I do that, though, because my brain is always running and moving and stuff. And, you know, so, so because of that, though, because of that disobedience and that rebellion, wow. he suffered. He lost his kingdom. Wow. He lost his life. And God promises us to give us long life. So imagine if he would have been obedient at that time, okay, how much longer would he have reigned over the people? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So God had to now put someone else in that place. Okay. Wow. Well, you know, you, uh, Amalekite, uh, the Amalekites was some, uh, a group that God said to kill them off because he knew that later on they would rise up. Mm -hmm. And they did. Yep, because, I wanted to say because that. Because they didn't that. kill them. Mm -hmm. David had to deal with the Amalekites later on. You see what I'm saying? So when God tells you to kill something like Goliath, and we're going to get into that story one day, mm. uh, you know, you got to chop the head off. You got to take it off. And see, David understood that if you don't take the head off, that thing will get back up. Or he was, or he was considering maybe this guy will resurrect. We don't know, but I'm going to make sure that he does it. And what's interesting is that he brought it back on a platter to the king. And we need to take our victories to the king. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's not our victories. It's his. And uh, what, you know, it was King Agag. And King Agag means I will overtop. I will overtop. In other words, he was a king that was vicious and he liked to be ruler. And so that's why Samuel said, kill everything. He brought the king back. Mm. You, know what, you know what Samuel the prophet mm. did? He said, he, he, he heard the bleeding sheep. He, he said, what is this sacrifice? Mm -hmm. He mm -hmm. heard it. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. he saw the king. He took a sword. Samuel the prophet took a sword and killed a gag and chopped him up. Mm -hmm. Folks, that's serious business. That's why he said obedience is better than sacrifice. And God said that he was sorry that he chose that he chose Saul. But yeah. I want to say something about choosing Saul too. Is that Saul was God's chosen for the people because the people wanted a king. And so they wanted he wanted a king. They wanted a king like the other nations. And so um God says, you want a king? I know exactly what you want. And he went and got the mm. exact king what they wanted. He was, he was absolutely horrible as far as a king. And it's, some, it's like some of, some of our past presidents, you know. Uh, we can only say that everyone makes mistakes, you know. But we have had some kings that, <laughs> that had uh, real some problems. But anyway, uh, let's go now to, um, I'm going to go to uh, Isaiah chapter 1 verse 19, but I'm going to start in 18. It says, Come now, let us reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. If you are willing and obedient, you will eat the fruit of the land. Watch this. But if you refuse and rebel... You shall be devour, devoured by the sword, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. Mm. So understand that the first thing that he introduces here is that let's come. Come and let's reason together. Let's sit down. Why? He says, you have so much stuff on you. Mm. And so God wanted to redeem Israel because she had been backslidden. She has, excuse me, Israel had been backslidden for a very long time. And they were drunk with the deception of the other nations, worshiping other gods, etc. 
And so he says, though your sins, though your sins be as scarlet, I want to make them white as snow. And though they be red as crimson, I want to make them like wool. And only God can do that. He says, if you are willing, this is the key, if we are willing. Well, how can we be willing? Mm -hmm. God always shows us the strength and the truth of that strength so that we can be obedient to it. We can be willing. Remember, it's a choice to be obedient. But watch this. They were still God's people. Even though they were disobedient, they were still God's people. Amen. Just like and us. so, just like us, we, 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 you know what? We have to be willing by saying, Lord, okay, I'm willing. But let's look at the word willing. The word willing, watch this, watch, watch this now. You're going to love this. The word willing means an empty space needing to be filled. Uh -huh. <laughs> Did you get that? We need to be emptied of ourselves. Wow. So that God can fill it with his good things. When we're full of ourselves hmm. all we do is ourselves wow that's so we have we have true. to we have to be emptied out that's true and so i want to take us now to the new testament because she's going to end with with hebrews but i want to end with philippians and it says this look not every man to his own things but every man also on the things of others watch this now where's paul leading us where'd you go philippians philippians chapter 2 verse 4 and it says this Watch this. Let this mind be in you that was also in Christ. So watch this. Jesus, he did not look for the interest of himself. He was looking for the interest of others. And watch this. Let this mind be in you, which also was in Christ, who being God in form, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but watch this, but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men. Watch this now. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Hmm. Because he had no interest in himself, but only to save others. And so what happens when we're obedient? Whenever we're obedient to the Spirit of God, other people benefit from that. Yes. But the same thing when we're disobedient. Right. I was talking to your young man just the other day. I said, you need to be obedient if you want your family to be blessed because your disobedience will follow unto your children. God said that he will. Listen, this is Old Testament, but it still happens. That's right. He will visit the sins of the fathers up to the fourth generation. And because we live by grace, should we continue to sin? By wow. no means. So there are consequences to our disobedience. Though we live by grace, there are still consequences. And there are things that will trickle right. um, from, from our disobedience. But thank God for the, the word of God that tells us what we get when we're obedient. Yeah, we're obedient. When we're obedient, the blessings that we receive from being obedient. Wow. See, that's what I want. That's where I want to be. That's where I want to stay. Being obedient to the Word of God so that I can get all. The, I want to live a long life, a Amen. long, healthy life. Amen. Okay. Spiritual. And even Amen. even in that, you know, I was when I was looking at that scripture and I was thinking about being um, obedient. And he says, "And you will live." Okay. Sometimes we have to be obedient on the way that we take care of our bodies. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, oh, because yeah. the Bible gives us instructions on how to live long lives by certain things that we eat mm -hmm. and there certain things that we do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, and when we're disobedient to that, we also um, will reap. Oh, yes, we have to be obedient. We are the temple of the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Okay, and therefore, we do not belong to ourselves, the Bible says. Mm. It's not, it's not our life. It's the life of Christ. How come we say, you know, I'm, I'm, I belong to Christ, but then we, everything we do is, it belongs to us. Right. You know, and this is what obedient is all about. Being obedient is that you die to self. I want to just before, because I wanted to come to Genesis chapter 15 mm -hmm. about sure. Abraham. And it says, after these things, the word of the Lord came to Abraham in a vision saying, fear not, Abraham, I am your shield and your great uh, and your exceeding great reward. And the first thing Abraham says, he says, you know, what would you give me seeing I go childless and the steward of my house is Eleazar of Damascus, in other words, of Egypt. And so he is saying, Abraham said, behold, to, behold, 
uh, to me, you have not given me any seed. Hmm. And lo, the one born in my house, he is my heir. Now watch this. God does something to Abraham, and behold, the word of the Lord came to him, saying, This shall not be heir, but he that shall come forth out of your own bowels shall be your heir. Now look what God is dealing with Abraham, because Abraham is saying, You've given me no seed. Hmm. And watch this. The word of the Lord came to him to do something. And watch this. I love this. In verse 5, Genesis 15, 5. We were worshiping yesterday, and I was, I was leading the worship. I, I said something about Abraham. I stopped because we were talking about, uh, we're going to sing a song about obedience and, um, and the blessings. And I said, Abraham, did, God did something with Abraham. It says, and he brought him forth abroad. He took him outside of the tent and said, look now toward the heavens hmm. and tell the stars or count the stars if you are able to number them. And he said unto him, so shall thy seed be. Wow. He says, you have given me no seed. And God says, come outside. I want to show you something. Mm. And he says, look up to the heavens. And when he looked up, I believe for a moment, God showed him a cluster of stars that were innumerable. He could not count them. He says, can you count them? He says, no way. I can't count wow. them. He says, that's how much I put inside of you. That's where the blessing is. I put it already inside of you. Don't say that I did not give you any seed. Because sometimes we say, Lord, I'll be obedient. But how am I going to be obedient? Because I don't have what I need to be obedient. God says, I already put it inside of you. Wow. <laughs> wow. Come outside and see. Wow. And so sometimes we need to step out outside, outside of our own comfort zone and said, watch and see what I put inside of you. Now, Jesus had to learn obedience, right? Yes. Though... He were a son, yet learned he obedience by the things which he suffered. Wow. Now think about this. He was not disobedient, but as a man, he had to learn to submit to the will of God to show us as men, as women, you can submit to the will of God. Amen. And he learned obedience, the obedience of the cross by dying, dying. on the cross. Mm -hmm that we might be obedient. Hallelujah. He took our disobedient, our disobedience so that we can be obedience. Amen. Well, 2 Corinthians 5, uh, verse 21, and he made him who knew no sin to become sin for us that we might become the righteousness of God in him. I love it. I love it. I thank the Lord. He's just he's just so awesome. I, I'm 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 still just basking in the in the fact that we have so many blessings that come from be, our obedience to His Word. You know, it's not just being obedient to um, you know uh, little things, but even f uh, being obedient to those that we work under. You know, because sometimes we uh, we're on our job and and we think that we know more, or may, we may know more than our bosses. Okay, but. When we're given an instruction, we have to keep that instruction. We Amen. have to stay in that place. Amen. Because when we are faithful to the small things, God will bless us with bigger things. Wow. Simple as that. We want to end with this today. Jesus said, if you want to be my disciples, you have to die. Mm. You have to pick up your cross and follow me. And there's a story I heard, and it came to mind, so I want to say it, about a, a, a person that had a dream. And they, in the dream, they were telling the Lord Jesus, this cross is too heavy for me. I cannot bear it. It's too heavy. And so the Lord took him to a room in the dream, supposedly in the dream, and showed him or her, whoever it was, a, a big room with all these different types of crosses. And he said, choose one. And so the person went around the room lifting up all these different crosses. This one was too fat. This one was too heavy. This one was too light. This one was too uncomfortable. And finally, the person found a cross and said, I can deal with this one. This one feels good. And the Lord told him in the dream, this is the one you, you, you've been carrying. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> this, is the one you've been, you, this is the one you've been carrying. Stop with the complaints, mm -hmm. 
he said, God, too heavy. there's nothing mm -hmm. I can do. This thing is too heavy. Mm -hmm. And he says, if you pick up the trials of other people, you will find out just how uncomfortable theirs is and how comfortable I've made you in yours. Wow. Wow. So how can we be obedient with tears in my eyes? Because we can't be obedient until we say, Lord, I'll pick up the cross. It's hard. Mm-hmm. But I know that you're, you're there with me, holding it with me. Just like they order Simon to pick up the cross for Jesus. Mm -hmm. Jesus comes alongside of us. And also, he also sends other people alongside of us to help us when we can't go on anymore. He says, you can go on just Amen. a little longer. That's God right. bless you. That's right. Have a wonderful, spiritual day. Have a wonderful day.